So we have a car that's traveling at 100 kilometers per hour, so that's the speed. We want to estimate the kinetic energy, so then the equation for kinetic energy is half mv squared. So in order to put in this speed into that equation, we have to convert it to meters per second. So one kilometer per hour, we can rewrite this as one kilometer divided by one hour. That's the h to the minus one, that means per hour. And then this is the same thing as if you break these down into meters and into seconds. In one kilometer, we have a thousand meters. And then in one hour, we have 3,600 seconds. And that's just by doing 60 minutes in one hour multiplied by the number of seconds in each minute. So then if we wanted to work out the speed in meters per second, we would then do 100 multiplied by 1,000 meters divided by 3,600 seconds. And this gives us 27 point Eight, roughly. Okay, so then what is the mass of a car? So we have to estimate the mass of a car. A typical car tends to be between a thousand to two thousand kilograms. So let's just use a average value of a thousand five hundred kilograms. So then if we put this into our kinetic energy equation, a half times fifteen hundred times v squared, then this gives us about five point eight times 10 to the 5. So this value for kinetic energy is somewhere in between 10 to the power of 4 and 10 to the power of 6. So if I were to do 10 to the power of 6 divided by 5.8 times 10 to the power of 5, I get about 1.7. And if I were to do 5.8 times 10 to the power of 5 divided by 10 to the power of 4, this gives me 58. So what we can see from these two numbers is that 5.8 times 10 to the 5, if you multiply that by 1.7, you end up with 10 to the 6. And if you divide this by 58, you end up with 10 to the 4. So it's therefore closer to 10 to the power of 6 than it is 10 to the power of 4, so our answer would be B.